Hi guys, I have a bit of a random haul for you here. Uh, some stuff I got from Amazon Prime, some stuff I got from Zoya, I got itchy nose. I just got some random stuff, so let me show you what I got. Let's start with, I got one of these Loki bracelets. I fucking love these. This is like my favorite color right now, I've said that in some videos now. So it has supposedly snow from the highest point of earth, which is Mount Everest, and the black bead is uh, mud from the Dead Sea, the lowest point of Earth. So it's supposed to, I don't know, ground you with the highest point, the lowest point, kind of ground you. I don't really buy into that bullshit, but that's cool as shit that there's mud and, well, water in here. And this purple color is new. It's limited edition. It is for the proud supporter of the Alzheimer's Association. So that's awesome. I think this was $18. They're on the Loki website, and this is how you spell it, if you're wondering. L-O-K-A-I. <clears throat> They're on the Loki website, but I think it was, I don't know, you got faster shipping if you went through Amazon. And Amazon, it is shipped through Loki, so it's like for reals. And they had small, medium, large, extra large, and I got the size large, obviously, I'm a big girl. I love it, I'm gonna wear it all the time. Next I got the Lancome, a uh, whole bunch of French mascara, high definition mascara, Definicillus. It's just a normal, I don't know, I wanted like a fancy pants mascara. And I love the natural bristle brush. It smells a little poopy, but not too bad. Doesn't Lancome usually smell like roses? I think so. So I just, I usually don't like the scent of roses, but I just got the, let me show you. I just got the Viva La Juicy Rose perfume and I fucking love it. So the one that made me want to get the Mario Badescu skincare facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. This thing is huge, it's the eight ounce. What I really wanted was this though, the Mario Badescu drying lotion. I've heard good things about this. So I think it has like calamine lotion here and then this is supposed to dry the shit out of zits. Uh, next, I got these off Vitacost before and my husband loved it. He's into natural deodorant. I got him the La Vanilla and at first he liked it and I got like three things and then eventually he's like, I don't like that anymore. These are super cheap. It's the Aloe and Almond by Elvira. Aloe and Almond All Natural Roll On Deodorant. And then I got him a four pack on Amazon for I think like $18. Yeah, so it was $4.50 each. I've been wanting this Milani blush forever. I see everybody talk about these and it's so beautiful, but we don't have Milani in Minnesota. I don't know why, no place sells it. I get so jealous when people are like, oh, I just went into my Walgreens and bought Milani. Ooh, let's see if it smells. Ooh, it smells. Disgusting. It kind of smells like horse manure. That's not good. I don't think I want to put that on my face, but it's pretty to look at. I don't really want to mess it up, but we will. Oh, it stayed pretty well. All right, I am a swatchy mess right now. Let's stick it right there. Holy pigmented. It's a little dusty. We'll see how that goes. I don't even know if I want to put it on my face. It really stinks. Not at all in a good way. Julep uh, nail polish in the color Nedra. It's one of the It Girl ones. Oh, okay. It says swatch me up here. How are you supposed to swatch it when the brush is down here? I don't know, I like it. It's kind of like a denim kind of color. So I don't know, I'll try that out. Next is one of these Buxom lip glosses in Creamsicle. It's one of the full on lip creams. I absolutely love these. I have white Russian and I love it. Pretty sure white Russian smells minty. This smells cupcakey. This is, let's go here. Do you see how like full on that opacity is for this thing? It's like a peachy color and it's really pretty and it, it lasts a good amount of time. Oh, this is something cool. So this is my Givenchy or Givenchy, Givenchy, whatever the fuck this is. This stuff, um, the Rouge, Color Enhancing Lipstick. I saw this on QVC, it was $32, and it is a black lipstick, and it turns different colors um, according to your pH, I guess. Look at that packaging. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it yet. This little guy comes off, I think. Yeah, so it's a little tassel. 
Packaging, super impressive. Pull this Givenchy. Yeah, that's how you pronounce that. So here's the color. It is black. It smells, it smells like something. It smells like some kind of kitty, like makeup, like from maybe 80s, 90s. So here's the color. It's very mauve but the cool thing is it changes colors. You can see like it'll start getting darker on my skin. You can build it up though. I wish I didn't have this red on. Maybe I'll do a video all about this. But, um, so I was watching the video on QVC and it was looking really mauve and just gorgeous. Kind of like some people it looked a little gray toned and I thought that was so cool. So then I went and ordered it. And then all of a sudden they said how it changes colors on different people. And then this red haired girl tried it on and it was like bright pink on her lips. And I was like, oh fuck no. Yeah, you can see it's looking pretty buried. I don't want bright pink lipstick. So, um, I don't know. I don't know if it was worth $32. It's very balmy. It's very shiny. But I mean, it's black. It's so cool looking. Okay, a couple more things here. Okay, so I placed an order at Zoya Nail Polish. It is a, I think they're nine or $10 a nail polish, but a couple times a year they have really good deals. They'll have, I, I believe they're by four, or you get four free, you just pay for shipping. So it was $15, usually it's 12. It went up to $15 for four nail polishes though. So I mean, you can't complain. And, oh I did, I got like a free kit. I got a free um, top coat, base coat, and then, um, oh no, I did some kind of box thing. I don't know, I got this Nail Perfector, Naked Nail Perfector, and the color is Pink Perfector. And I was hoping it gave you like a nice little milky nails, like neutral nail. It did, it did nothing for my nails. So there's a couple colors that I was disappointed in. Actually there's, I was disappointed in myself. These pixie dust colors are my absolute favorite. They go on so nicely. They're so pigmented. They go on one coat and your nail is totally covered. It has these nice brushes that aren't too thick. They're not too long. They're just perfect. So these pixie dust dry super fast, which is why I got them. If you're wondering what's on my nails right now, it is, look at that ugly swatch. Um, it is the OPI Hello Kitty. I posted a Ulta video where you can see these guys and I got a few different colors. I love the shiny pink color. It's on my toes too. Okay, so there's like literally like 500 colors of pixie, not pixie dust, or not pixie dust, Zoya nail polishes. I wanted to get a lot of the pixie ones and um, I think I had like 30 nail polishes in my cart. And then slowly I was like, well, I don't need that. I don't need that. And I kept eliminating them. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got eight nail polishes. Two of them I already have. It's like, are you fucking kidding me? So this is Stevie. Yeah, Stevie. And it's a gorgeous like lilac-y color. And it's the pixie dust all have like these glitters in them. And they're kind of textured looking. And I really like them. And this one is called Solange. And it's, it looks very yellow here, but when you put it on your nails, it's more gold colored. And that kind of sucks that I already have them. So then this one is Oswin, and it is a red. It looks like ruby red slippers. It's very red. This one is not a pixie dust. This one is called Reese. And it kind of has like um, an iridescent to it. It's like a purple, like purpley pink color. And it has like gold shimmer in it. Um, this one is called Vespa. I cannot wait to paint my nails this color. It's just like a seafoam green with silver glitter. This one is called Sunshine and it is like a denim blue with silver glitter. The last two are the ones that I'm totally not thrilled with. These are the new matte velvet colors. Like how awesome do these look? I wonder if I have a picture somewhere. I did my nails this white color. First of all, they're called matte velvet. You aren't gonna be able to see it. There is glitter in this. Like a matte nail polish, it is straight glitter in it. And it just went on so patchy. Like you would do your nails and in one spot it would be super thick white and in the middle you'd be able to see the brush stroke. It was terrible. And then the blue one I haven't even tried yet because I'm just dreading it. And then this one has a little bit of glitter in it. At least it looks like blue glitter. Let's see it. 
No, nah, it's not gonna focus. Well, there's glitter in there, you can just trust me. So these were, that sucks, I ordered eight. Two I already have, two are a dud. I don't know if you guys have heard of Scentbird. It is a subscription box, perfume subscription box. I pay for this myself, I'm not at all sponsored. And I, I have so many of these vials, I never finish them up. So what it is, it's $14.95 a month, and that includes shipping. And they ship one of these vials to you each month and you get to pick out of like thousands of kinds. And they send you this, I think it is like a third of an ounce, which is about the size of a rollerball. And rollerballs are like 20-ish dollars. This one's probably almost 30. It's the, I don't know how to pronounce it, the Saint Laurent uh, Black Opium. It smells so good. It smells sweet, but it's not like candy sweet. It's not sickening sweet. It's like a grown up sweet fragrance. I like it. Um, <clears throat> I love the subscription. So they send you like a little um, thing that this kind of pops up in. It's really cool. I wish I had them here for this in my purse. So yeah, these vials though, if you don't use them up, which I never do, I don't use them all up each month. So you can still spray these. And they have a nice spray. It's very, oh, it smells so good. It's very like a nice fine mist. It's not one that you get wet from. That's what she said. Okay, and then I placed an order with Sigma, and these are my first Sigma brushes. It's all like super fancy. I don't even know what this is. I got a free sample of some kind of eyeshadow. Comes like this, all fancy. And they had spent $50 and you get a free product. I got the little E47 Shader Crease Travel Brush, which is nice. I like the pink handle. Here's what it looks like. Let me push it down so you can see it against the white. <clears throat> oh, let's take it out. Yeah, this is nice. I mean, it's not, I don't know, it's pretty dense and not very, it's a little stiff, but it serves a purpose. You can, you know, build up that crease. And then, these guys are where it's at. I wanted to get some brushes that I have nothing like. So this is the first one that I absolutely have nothing like. This is the Emphasize Contour, the F57. And I got them all in copper. Ooh, oh it actually says the Emphasize Contour. So F57, look at the shape on that. I, oh these are so soft. Yes, these are soft. So this is for, do you see that shape right there? So it kind of fits the shape. I don't have any good, con like a, um, I have fluffy contour brushes. I don't have, I have the Real Technique contour brush and I like it, but it's all, it's probably double thickness of this. So this is nice. You can get like that really nice line right there. Oh yes. Oh, it's so soft. Yeah. I have a lot of Real Technique ones and drugstore. I don't know. I have the Eco Tools. I don't have any Sigma. I have some It Cosmetic ones and these put those to shame. The F88 Flat Angle Kabuki Brush. I was between a normal flat, but I went for the angled one because I have nothing like this. So I got the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. It's what I have on now. I did put it on like 10 hours ago. But it didn't give me full coverage, so hopefully this will do better things for me. Okay, next two brushes are this one I'm it's the blending E25 brush. Everybody talks about this. It's not, it looks like a normal, like cheap eyeshadow brush. Like I got a wet and wild one that looks just like this for $1.99. I was thinking it would be kind of like this one. This is the taper blending brush, the E40. You know what I mean, how it's, and I thought this was gonna be big and fluffy. Maybe I can get it that way. We'll see how it works. I mean, I haven't used them yet. But this one isn't, it's just one of these like flat ones like this, which I mean, I have a ton of these. I mean, you could pack on the color. I was hoping for a blending brush. It's called the Blending E25. And I hear a lot of people rave about it. So I am super excited to try these though, put them to the test and that is everything, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.